Shalom, Israel. This is the brother Kadagabar here again. I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And respect to all the brothers preaching and teaching the truth worldwide in sincerity. And peace and blessings to the whole elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom. This world, this wicked world, that's in control by Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is coming to an end. All right? And Jake must know that this place that they think that loves them they don't okay this place is uh what's the word I'm looking for is a is a is a sinful place that tricks you into thinking that the things that's being done here is right but in the sight of the Lord is not right. And this is why this current world, this this kingdom that we are in, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man's kingdom, is coming to an end. And it's going to come to an end viciously. All right? Destruction. All right? Great sufferings is coming to this place. All right? So... You hear this word that's coming from the man of the Lord that's preaching this word in all truth and sincerity. You must repent and turn back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And if you don't, you will be destroyed right along with this wicked kingdom. All right? Because when we say the world's coming to an end, we're talking about Esau, Edom, the so called white man's world. All right? The, 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 the earth is not going to be destroyed to where it, it you know it, it explodes the earth abounds forever as the scriptures say okay this world is this, this kingdom all right is going to come to an end and it's going to come to an end viciously by the way of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah all right so let me get some scriptures Okay, this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 12. I'm going to start here at verse 18. And it reads, Son of man, eat thy bread with quickening, and drink thy water with trembling and with carefulness. Verse 19. And say unto the people of the land, what people? The Israelites. Thus said the Lord God, Yahweh, of the inhabitants, of Jerusalem and of the land of Israel shall they eat their bread with carefulness and drink their water with astonishment that her land may be desolate from all that therein because of violence and all of them that dwell therein verse 20 and the cities that are in are inhabited shall be waste and the land shall be desolate and ye shall know that I am the Lord okay and even back then you know when our people was, was going off man you know and the heavenly father had to run us out of our own home our homeland okay and we understand that the scriptures say that there's nothing new under the sun. And in these in these scriptures that we read here applies to what's going on now. Okay? We're not in our homeland. We're in somebody else's homeland. But at the same time, this place, this land, America, is going to be desolate. All right? It's going to be destroyed. All right? For all the wickedness. That's being committed in this place. 
Okay, a lot of other places in the uh, world's gonna be destroyed as well. Okay, but America's gonna be completely destroyed to where nobody will inhabit this land again. All right. Verse twenty one, and the word and the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, "Son of man, what is this proverb that ye have in the land of Israel, saying?" The days are prolonged, and every vision faileth. And this is how our people felt back then, and most, some of our, most of our people felt back then, and majority of our people feel now that what we preaching now, telling it, telling you that the world is coming to an end, they don't believe it. <laughs> you know, they look at us like we crazy. We saying what's going to happen. Okay, we said what the Lord said is going to happen, and they, they look at us crazy. They mock us. Okay, they scoff. Okay, they don't believe it because it's not coming when they want it to come. It's not coming right then and there. Okay, these prophecies, you know, it has to run its course. Okay. Verse 23. Tell them, therefore, thus said the Lord, thus said the Lord God, Jehovah, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them, the days are at hand, and the effect of every vision, okay, the prophecies, the days are at hand. The end, the end of this place is at hand. It's coming, okay? And the effect of every vision, which is talking about the prophecies, okay? Because the men that's preaching his word, they are seers. They see what's coming before it happens, all right? This is why we able to preach this word in belief, because we know what's coming. We see the prophecies is what what is leading up to is leading up to the end of Esau Edom the so-called white man's kingdom. All right. The work of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is in full effect, man. All right. And these prophecies will not fail. Verse 24. For there shall be no more any vain vision, nor flattering the uh uh, no flattering divine nation within the house of Israel. Verse 25, For I am the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushah. I will speak and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. Alright? And it's going to happen. Okay? And how do Yahweh Bashem Yahweh speak? Okay, he speak through the vessels of his men that's out here preaching his word. All right? There shall be no more prolonged. Okay? And, the, you know, the definition of the word, the definition of the word uh, prolonged is to, you know, is to stretch out, uh, it's another word uh, to make longer, all right. So the, the heavenly Father is telling you <laughs> that these prophecies is not going, basically, it's not going to take that long, all right. And we that preach this word believe that everything that's written in this Bible, all the prophecies, is going to happen in our lifetime. We're going to witness it, Yahweh willing, okay. This is the generation that's going to witness all these prophecies, all these great prophecies to come to pass. And all these prophecies is, is great. You might think, oh, it's, 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 it's terrible, but it's great for us because this bringing the end to Esau, Edom rulership and bringing the beginning to our rulership so that we may be perfect under Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right? 
that we could flourish as a, a special nation. Okay? It shall be no more prolonged for in your days, O rebellious house. Because Israel, our people, majority of our people are rebellious, man. They don't want to obey the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. Okay? Will I say the word and will and will let that seek in. I will say the word and will key word will perform it. Okay? So everything that's written the Heavenly Father is going to perform. These prophecies are going to be performed. All right? Said the Lord God, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah. So, you know, this is nothing to joke around with, man. All right? Destruction is coming. And we have to get ourselves in order and, and, and prepare our, our ourselves for what's coming. We have to get our minds right. And most of all, we have to get our spirits right. All right? Verse uh, 26, and it reads, again, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, the vision that he seeth is for many days to come. And he prophesieth of the times that are far off. And our people, you know, we tell them what's coming. They don't think it's going to happen in their lifetime. They think it's going to be way after they gone. Okay. <laughs> but not knowing that hey the heavenly father some some people might pass away before everything come to pass okay but you have to understand the heavenly father controls everything he, he gonna you people that that's you know <laughs> they talk all this shit man about the prophecies man the heavenly father is gonna bring you back alright to feel that fire that destruction from the thermonuclear missiles so you will not escape destruction as you think you will. All right. Verse 28. Therefore, son of man, Salakia. Verse 28. Therefore, say unto them, said the Lord God, Yahweh. There should none of my words be prolonged anymore. But. The word which I have spoken shall be done, saith the Lord God, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. Okay? So it's going to be done. What we preach is going to be done. No matter, it don't matter if you don't believe it. If you don't, hey, it's up, if you don't believe it, hey, that's on you. <laughs> You know, it's on you, man. Just because you don't believe it don't mean it's not going to happen. Okay? Your unbelief have no effect on the prophecies of the Bible. All right? Lord, man, he's not a man that he gonna lie. He's not gonna say this and this and this and that is going to happen and it don't happen. Just because it don't happen when you think it should happen or want it to happen doesn't mean it's not gonna happen. Okay? Signs of the times. So let's go here real quick. And I'm going to speed it up. Okay. This is Numbers chapter 23. 
we're going to read right here verse 19 and it reads God, Yahweh is not a man that he shall lie okay, the heavenly father don't lie okay neither the son of man okay that he shall repent have he said and shall he not do it okay so what's being said in the scripture is going to be done all right or have he spoken and shall he not make it good okay so what's spoken in the scriptures is going to come to pass okay it's going to be done you don't have to believe it it's still going to be done all right but the best thing for you to do is to believe. Okay. And if you are Israelite that believe true on this true holy uh on the true holy words, you know, you better hold on to it, man. Cause this hey, this is this is what we got, this is all we got. This is our this is our way to salvation. Believing in this word, holding on to this word. This is our ticket. To that chariot, man. This word. All right. Okay. Let's go to Amos. Chapter 5. We see at the top it says, Seek me that you may live. Okay. We. I seek y'all about some your shot. You seek him by the way of this word. I'm gonna jump down to verse 18. Try to speed it up, hit the points. Okay, this is Abos chapter 5, verse 18, and it reads, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Okay. It's going to be scary times, man. It ain't going to be good times. Scary times. A time like never before, as the scripture tell you. Verse 19. As if a man did flee from a lion. That's one terrible situation. And a bear met him. That's another terrible situation. Or went, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall. And a serpent bit him. That's another situation. In that situation, you striked out. All right? So you're going to be <laughs> fleeing from different situations. You're going to be going through this, going through that, going through this, going through that. Until the Heavenly Father checks you out. With a terrible, terrible destruction. Okay? Meaning... Basically, what this is saying, you're not going to be able to escape what's coming. And the only way you can be able to escape what's coming, if you believe in the word. Okay? If you are of the elect, of the nation of Israel. Verse 20, so the day... Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? Okay, so the days are evil. Okay, great tribulation, suffering, a lot of problems, tragedy, all right, destruction. Okay, this right here is Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse five. Let me start. Let me start right here, verse four. For all the unfaithful should die in their unfaithfulness. You're being unfaithful by not obeying and walking in the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua to the best of your ability. All right. Verse 5, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world with sword, famine, death, and destruction. Okay? 
the days are evil. And this is not going to be prolonged. This is going to happen. Okay? All this is going to happen. We see it happen now. With all the wars and everything that's going on without throughout these different nations. And soon, <laughs> America is going to get involved. Okay? Verse 6, For the wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, it said the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more in touching their wickedness, which they profanely committed. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood crieth unto me, and we are the are the innocent and, and righteous blood that's crying out to Yahweh Bashem Yahushah. All right, those who believe, the, those who believe in this truth, man, because we want the heavenly Father to bring the destruction to this place, man. Okay, we we want to get up out of here. We being destroyed with this place. Okay, by steady being here, so we want this place to come to an end so we can be delivered. Okay. And, and actually live, all right, and, and be programmed to keep the ways of the Heavenly Father ways, all right. And the souls of the just complain continually, and we complain continually. <laughs> we tell the Heavenly Father, man, this ain't no place for us. We ready to get up out of here. This place is wicked. I'm tired of seeing wickedness, man. It's, and mess up your mind seeing all this this wicked stuff, man, that goes on. It really does. All right? So the Heavenly Father, man, he's going to do some terrible things to this place, man. And to these people, man. Okay? These people around here living freely, smiling, happy. The, the Heavenly Father is going to wipe away the mirth from this place, man. From you, from you folks in this world, man. All right. Verse nine, and therefore said the Lord, I will, I will surely avenge them, and receive unto, receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Okay. Let me see me. Uh, Okay, verse 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand. That mighty hand is your shot. And a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. As before. So this right here is not talking about Egypt. Back then, it's talking about the new Egypt, which is America, okay? The modern-day Egypt, okay? And, and smite Egypt with plagues as before. So he's going to smite, smite this modern-day Egypt, America, like he smite the old Egypt, okay? <laughs> and will destroy all the land, thereof America all of it all right so this place is 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 is, is through man all right so seek Yahweh Bashmi Shah so you won't be a part of that destruction verse 12 Egypt shall mourn Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plagues and punishment that Yahweh God, it says, Yahweh shall bring upon it. This is a punishment for all the wickedness. All right? So, hey, man. <laughs> this, this, place is, this place is through. Right here, where it says right here on verse 14, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. All right? Verse 15, For the sword... And their destruction draweth nigh. 
and one people should stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. Okay, this is this is this is race wars, man. One people should stand up and fight against another. All right. <laughs> so you got race wars. All right. People gonna be fighting against one another, man. A nation ain't gonna be fighting against another another nation. Okay. With swords in their hands. And we know what the modern day sword is. The gun. Verse 16. For the for there should be sedition among men and invading one another. They should not regard their king nor prince. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And it's what you see, man. You're seeing these people not even obeying or, you know, yeah, they're not all even obeying their the higher-ups, man. They're not abiding by the, uh, the, the, the statues and the laws that's uh, given to them by this, by this world, man. Okay? People are going against their own kings. The people that sit in the, in the higher position in this world. All right, like not obeying, man. You know, you see the sedition of uh, the rioting. You know, the, the the resistance. Okay, the disobedience. Okay, you see all these goddamn uh, uh, these people starting all this. You know, the, the, these these uproars in the streets. Okay. Verse 17, and a man should desire to go in the city and should not be able to, okay? It's really, hey, the martial law, okay? People ain't gonna be able to just go where they wanna go, man. Okay, you see it in these movies. They, Esau put it in these movies to show you what's coming. Verse 18, for because of their pride, the city should not, so like the city should be troubled, the houses should be destroyed, and the man the men shall be afraid. Verse 19. The man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. But shall destroy their houses. With the sword. And spoil their goods. Because the lack. Of bread. Food. Before great tribulation. But the heavenly father told you he's going to bring the famine. Right. It's going to be a famine. The lack of bread. So people are going to be, hey, robbing their own, own, their own people. All right? They're going to be destroying their own people, man. Because of the lack of bread, the famine. It's going to drive people crazy. And they're going to do whatever to eat, man. Okay? They're going to have no pity. They ain't going to have no... They're not going to care. They don't care if you got kids. They don't care if... <laughs> If you got a wife and she pregnant, they don't care. It's going to go down, man. You know? So. That should be, uh, let me get this right here. Okay, I'm going to end it off with this because. This is what we. Get ready to witness, man. Revelation chapter 11, verse 14. And it reads, The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Okay. And what is that? The missiles, man. World War Three. All right. Let me get one more. This is a... Uh, Isaiah 13 verse 4 and it reads the noise of the multitude in the mountains like as of a great people the tumultuous noise of the kingdoms these different nations of the of nations gathered together the Lord of hosts mustereth the host of the battle war right verse 5 they come from a far country. 
from one end of heaven, even the Lord, and weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. What is the weapon of his indignation? The thermonuclear missiles. All right. Verse six. How ye for the day of the Lord is at hand. It's coming. It's not going to be prolonged either. As the scriptures say, it should come as a destruction from the almighty. All right. So, you know, that's what's coming, man. Verse nine, behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger to lay the land, America, singular land, not lands, land, to lay the land desolate, destroyed, and he should destroy the sinners thereof out of it. All right. So, you know, I made it off with that, you know, the word of Yahweh about some other shots should not be prolonged anymore. See y'all again soon, Yahweh willing. Shalom.